Okay, we're down here with Kate Field. Kate, you always give it absolutely everything. And in these conditions, it's so hard. It's, it's, you know, you have to just embrace it sometimes, don't you? But you've had an amazing year. You've just done so much for the sport, as you always do, even when it's tough going, uh, as, it, as it has been this year for you. A little bit of disappointment, obviously, not making the Olympics and coming so close, you know. But you've got such support behind you. And no matter what you do, you can do no wrong when you're Kate Veal. I'm very, very lucky. The people I have behind me, I'm just in my club, my friends, my family. I just in race walking, in the race walking circle, and in athletics and Ireland, like I have such a passion for athletics. And you know, I think once you love doing it, you know, I kind of came full circle, and I see the sport from kind of a different perspective now. Um, and yeah, I, I always like look. I always say it. I always love nationals and come to nationals and racing. And um, yeah, there's always just a good buzz, and it's so good to see that there's so many young girls now. Um, you know, walking, there's a really good, like, crop of girls coming up, and hopefully that success will reach success. And you know, once you have groups like that going, you know, it's good for the future. And some of the girls just coming across the finish line here, it's so exhausting, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, the 5k, well, the walking in general, I love that. If people can just try walking, then they kind of realise. I know it can look a bit mad to people, but then when they actually try it, they kind of respect it and see that, you know, it is, it's tough, yeah. But like any sport or event, I suppose, it's all different. Isn't it lovely to see the girls embracing each other there? <laughs> yeah. As I said, you know, the race walkers are, I suppose, a, a niche, so they're kind of a close-knit, uh, you know, group, and it's great, even international athletes and stuff, I find that, yeah, they're very, very close internationally, and, like, you can kind of go to places all over the world and know people, and, yeah, it's great, like, Arnica here, racing for Rahini was second, no, she was third, she got beaten, I think, by Ashley in the end, she's uh, from New Zealand, her mother and father are both in the Olympics, and it's great, she spent the summer over in Ireland, and, you know, just things like that. It's great that everyone she, helps. She's, she's doing no pairing, isn't, isn't that right? Yeah, with Jamie Costin, who, uh, and Susie Malakova, who's up there judging both. More two Olympians, so I mean, being in, the, yeah, what an environment to be in. So, yeah, so it's great. She's already looking forward to coming back, and we all have invites to go over to her as well. So, yeah, it's good. And I know that some of the girls were hoping to get European uh, qualification there for some of the underage championships today. Yeah, I must see when they all, the, the times that they've they've done. Uh, I'm not sure who, if anyone did get in the end, yeah, the conditions were, were tough. And sometimes runners and, and stuff, and I even find, like, I'd love to have a pacer. You know, we, we kind of don't get, I'd love to have a pacer to see what I can do. But we're walking, we don't really have it. So a lot of these girls here, as you can see, are ended up being on their own, which does make it harder. When kind of that middle part, if you lose focus at all for a lap or lose concentration, get a bit tired, fatigued in the middle, I find you can lapse a little bit. And, you know, so it's, um, yeah, it definitely is a bit harder to do it out there on your own. And look, the conditions are not ideal, but it could always be worse, I suppose. It's, yeah. But sure nobody's going to pace you. Well, I know. You need someone on a bike. <laughs> Um, uh, I don't know, yeah, it's nice to say, I, my coach said I could go under 22, I haven't done much speed because I'm actually better at threes and fives are my favourite distance, I'd love the Olympics to be like even 10k, yeah. but it was used to be 10k, it's moved up to 20 for women now, but uh, the, uh, yeah, I was trying to just really focus on the 20k distance, because that's what I was weak at this year, so I really didn't know what I'd do for five, because I said to him, I don't have speed work done, he said, yeah, but you're strong, go for on 22, and I think I just dipped under it, um, so look, I have to be kind of happy enough with that. I did the Mixed Martin Relay last week and then I had five 20Ks done this season. So uh, yeah, like probably too much. If the season didn't go as, as planned. It was panic near the end. I was doing a 20K and then next week doing a 20K and it was definitely my legs were feeling it. So I'm happy considering all that. It's, yeah, happy to end the season that way. <laughs> well, it's looking at the number of of girls and the quality of the field out here you know you're doing so much to inspire the the, the youngsters it's great to see uh, lots of them following in your footsteps if they can do anything uh, near what you've done in your career we'll, we'll have lots of uh, continued success yeah i hope so anyway it's like even great some of them have come down to some garvin and trade me and it really helps me there's days i'm dying there was a day that two of the girls came down kira wilson as well and i was like trying to keep up with her i was like oh my god it was one of those days right so it's really good for me and i know like there's going to be some race soon that they're going to be like ahead of me or you know, it's good for me to have to, yeah, keep on on top of 